Are you struggling to figure out why your SVG files went from this to this? Today I'll show you why that happens and how to fix it. So here we have our sample illustration. Right now it's an Illustrator file, but more and more programs are now asking for SVGs. Canva is a great example of this, where SVG is the only alternative to vector files like EPS or AI. But I found when saving my files as SVG, it would distort my illustrations beyond recognition. First, I'll show you why that happens. So let's save a copy of our illustration. So we'll go up here to File, Save a Copy, or we can use the shortcut Alt Control S or Option Command S on a Mac. Then we can choose our location and then switch this over to SVG and then we can hit Save. This pops up our default settings. So you might say, let's go ahead and get this thing saved. But let's see what happens when you actually do that. So let's hit OK. And then if we open our SVG file, it comes back in looking like this. And that is not how we left it. Not only is it not recognizable, it is also unusable. So why did that happen? Well, let's go back to our original and try that again. So once again, we'll go back up to File, Save a Copy, select SVG, and we'll give this a different file name just to keep them separated, and then we'll hit Save. All right, now this time, let's go down here and click this button that's labeled More Options. When we click on that, we can see several more options that it wasn't showing us before. And the one that's causing us trouble is this one right here that's labeled Decimal Places. If we scroll over it, it doesn't give us a ton of information, but basically what you need to know is every point in our illustration is at a very specific position on our artboard. And this setting determines the precision or accuracy of how those points are saved. So with that setting only at one, it's rounding each of those positions down to one decimal place, which clearly is not doing the trick. But we can change this value to be anywhere between one and seven decimal places. And if we look down at that bottom description box, Illustrator recommends three is the best choice for most files. So let's trust Illustrator and change that to three. Then we'll just hit OK. And then let's go ahead and open up that new SVG file. All right, and if we click back and forth between this and our original, we can see that looks fantastic. It looks virtually the same. So switching that setting from one decimal point to three really did the trick. And if you continue having trouble, just increase that number of decimal places. I've saved plenty of these at seven decimal places and haven't had any issues. And now that we've fixed Illustrator from distorting our SVG files, did you know you can center objects in Adobe Illustrator with a simple button click? I have a video right here to show you how it works. Yeah.